everyone, this is John Dreyer and I'm here with the Mustang LT50. The LT amps are great all-in-one amplifier, tons of great tones, including classic and modern Fender amps, all of the popular effects, super user-friendly, and all in this one amplifier. It's great for practicing, songwriting, and even recording. And I want to take this opportunity to show you around Fender Tone 3.0, which is a free app that allows you to modify save and organize all of your presets all using your desktop computer. The app includes 100 total presets so you can pick your favorites and download from the app to the amplifier and store them in any of the empty preset slots or even overwrite any of the factory presets in the amplifier. You can also update the amp using the app so you have the latest features. And Fender Tone Desktop works for all LT amplifiers, Mustang LT as well as the Rumble LT. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through how and where to get the app, installing it, setting it all up, and then connecting it to your amp. And then we'll take a look around to see some of the cool things we can do with the app. All right, so the first thing we need to do is go to fender.com forward slash tone. And then we can click on download app. And when that loads up, we can scroll down to the desktop version of the app. And then click on either Mac or Windows to download the app to your computer. All right, now that we have the app installed on your computer, now it's time to connect the computer to the amplifier. And to do that, we're going to use a USB cable. Now make sure that the cable is also used for data, not just for charging, for better performance. All right, so we'll take the micro end of the cable and plug it into the amplifier. We'll plug the other end into the computer. And once we're all connected, we can open up Fender Tone 3.0 and you should automatically connect. All right, so let's take a look around Fender Tone 3.0 desktop. Now, the first thing you'll see in the upper left here is my amp presets. Now, these are the presets that are in the amplifier 01 to 60. So we have 30 factory presets as well as 30 empty presets to create your own. Now, the cool thing with Tone, once you connect, you automatically get new presets. So if we go to factory presets, you can see we have 01 all the way to 100. Now, some really cool stuff in there you really need to check out. We can go to settings here any number of things, we can engage the tuner, we can adjust USB gain level if you're recording, and you can also register your amp, and there's some help if you need it. So let's go back to my amp presets. I mentioned there are empty slots, so let's go to one of those slots, and then we'll kind of create our own thing here. So we'll go to 31, which is currently empty. Click on that. Now, it's just a studio preamp. There's no effects before or after the amp, and it sounds like this. Very clean very dry. So the first thing I want to do is add a new amplifier or change the amplifier. So we'll click on amp. I'm going to go swap amp. Now you have a whole list of options. So I'm feeling deluxe reverb. So let's click on deluxe and then we're done there. So now we have the deluxe amplifier and it sounds like this. All right, we're getting somewhere. I'm going to change the gain. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. So let's go there and just spin the knob there. Let's hear that. Very good. I'm gonna take the volume down just a little bit. All right, so now we're gonna go to the effects. Now I wanna add reverb, I know that. So let's go down to reverb here and I can just click on that. We'll have some options. I'm gonna click spring. Let's audition that. Very nice. I'm going to take the decay down just a little bit. So let's hear that. Perfect. Now we could stop there, but why should we? So let's go to pre effects and I'm going to click on stomp box. Any number of options. I want a little bit more drive, get a little bit more heavy. So I'm going to add a blues drive pedal. All right. And then let's hear that. <laughs> Love it. I'm going to take the gain back a little bit, the tone back a little bit, maybe the level up. I love it. Great. So we created our own preset brand new from scratch. We have a pedal in front. We have an effect before the amplifier. We have reverb after the amplifier. 
Uh, we can change the amp settings. We can change the pedal settings. And once you're happy with it, we can save it. So I'm going to save as, and then you can name it, whatever you like. I'm just going to say test. Okay. And then now this new preset is saved in preset number 31, and it's called test. All right, so there's a quick look at Fender Tone 3.0 for desktop. As you can see, it's a fun way to dig deeper into your LT amplifier to access presets quicker. Visually, it's all laid out in front of you so you can see what's happening in each preset all on one screen. You can edit preset names and keep everything organized the way you want it to be. If you're a Mustang LT or Rumble LT owner and haven't had a chance to check out Tone yet, head on over to Fender.com to download the app and see what it's all about. And that's it for me. So have fun with your LT amplifier and Tone 3.0. And be sure to stay tuned here for more videos. And we'll see you.